Welcome to the stream. Boy, 1984. This might be the oldest game we've ever played on stream. Maybe. I don't have a statistic for that. Live streaming isn't available right now. What's going on with YouTube? Okay, YouTube, uh, YouTube stream is being funny. Uh, so, balls. Balls, balls, balls. This is the balls stream. Balls. I, I kind of talked about doing this when I was doing the previous Marvel games. We've done a few of them. We've got a playlist on the channel of uh, Marvel and ball-related games. But uh, I wanted to go back and give tribute to the OG. 1984 Tengen Milton Bradley's Marble Madness. It's probably the only Milton Bradley game we've played other than uh, Captain Skyhawk. That brief stint on the NES where Milton Bradley got into video games. Boy, it's been a while since I pulled out the NES emulator. I mean, actual NES console. This isn't on Switch Online, is it? Marble Madness? I could have checked that, I guess. I've never actually played this. This is new to me. I've played many other Marvel games, and I'm not going to do a full two hours of this. I'm kind of just going to check it out for a little bit, see the original, and then move into one that is also pretty old that I've played. It's a uh, hamster ball. Hello, Darian. Is everything working okay on YouTube? I got a warning that, like, uh, YouTube streaming is not available at this time, on my end. There's, there's... evil enemy marbles? Okay, I can fall a short distance, but I will be stunned. I, I wasn't expecting enemies, I was just expecting there to be, like, levels. This is a surprisingly fluid 3D-based game, for the time it was made. Uh-oh. Seems to be working, that's good. Gameplay-wise, this seems actually very similar to Hamster Ball. Which is a good reason to pair them up in a stream. Like a timer-based... Timer-based gameplay. What is... why can't I... why can't I do? Is, is this like ice or something? I think it's like ice. That's why it's blue. I can't really control myself going across it. And I'm gonna fail a level because of it. Well, I, they, they make me enter my, my name every time? Well, you know what that means. Oh, this is... this is OG NES. You gotta start all over from the beginning every time you lose. You get one shot and that's it. Oh no, well we definitely aren't gonna be spending that long on this game. I can do save states, I guess, but... So there's a time bonus. That doesn't, uh... That doesn't carry over to the next level, in any way. I don't think. How... how I'm not understanding how that just opened.
the uh, if you're curious about that 90 degree, 45 degree setting that I put earlier, what that does is it makes it so that uh, oh god, this ice section. This is level two. Well, GG. There is fall damage. You cannot fall too far. Can't make the game too easy. Rub. Erase? I'm Z. Uh, here, I'll try 45 degrees. I'll see how that works. But uh, what this does is that it rotates the controls 45 degrees. So if I press fully to the right, here, I'm only going to press the right arrow. It does that. And left. It just rotates the entire controls to be in line with the isometric grid. Which I guess is fine if I, like, turn my head sideways. That's not fine. This is actually a bit harder. I appreciate the attempt. I like the start of this track, and then it just kind of falls apart. Like, this sounds like it was composed by someone who's never composed music before. As was often the case with early video games. It was just one or two people behind graphics, programming, everything. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, this is hard. Okay, I, I gotta rotate my controller, that's what I gotta do. And my head. But because of the weird way isometric works, I can't even ro rotate my head in such a perfect way. Watch this somehow be the time that I complete the level, though. I would... Actually, that'd be awful, because then I'd have to do the rest of the game this way. I should have just done that on the other control scheme. I should have just gone straight. God damn it, now I'm stuck like this. Uh oh. Uh. Uh. Crash Bandicoot. Wrath of Cortex flashbacks. Oh, those are like those are like death acid puddles is what those are. What is this dissonance? Who composed this? Oh boy. Oh boy. We got waves? What are the waves? Do I want to go there? Oh, that's the end. Oh, come on! There we go. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna complete this game on the 45 difficulty. The hardest difficulty in Marble Madness. Fucking legendary. Oh, what are these? Vacuums? It's like a Rock of Ages trap. Okay, that's a slope. Didn't quite understand the perspective there. What was- I fell? What did I- how did I fall? Oh, that's a catapult. Please. Ah! Well. Hmm. Z got onto the scoreboard. Let me make one more attempt.
with uh, the good control scheme. I've only been going 10 minutes and I'm basically done. This is my prediction for the final Smash DLC. The Marble from Marble Madness. A legendary video game icon whose legacy... You know, I can't even joke about that. The legacy of this does continue to this day. People love marble games. There's Monkey Ball, there's Rock of Ages, people are making lots of indie marble games. I guess it's mostly Monkey Ball, and then the rest kind of started copying that. This was the this was the progenitor, but Monkey Ball was the trendsetter. Also, I can kill black balls. Who knew? Oh, it's just I, I think it's just time based when that goes down. I haven't taken that bumpy route yet. I'm gonna go straight. I'm gonna attempt to go straight. Straight diagonal. Yeah, we're good. We made it. Oh boy. What? No, this wouldn't work with two players, one controller. You know how we could make it work? If uh, one of us was up and down and the other was left and right. Oh, that would be awful for this game. This is hard enough with one person. Back in the days of Nintendo hard. Maybe one of the DOS games I played. Now those those probably aren't older than this. But it was magic. Why does that happen? I'm confused. Let's go this way. Let's see what this has in store. I just gotta get up a slope, that's all. That's way easier than the wave. Aerial race. Oh, well, that's like the name of the level, I think. All out! You really get some... You bounce off those walls hard. Alright, catapult. Let's go this way. Let's avoid the giant pegs. Let's not get pegged today. Maybe another day. Why am I getting magic wanded? I don't understand why that happens. Cool uh, perspective thing for the NES. Oh god, what are those? Are they random? Is there a pattern? I can't tell. Uh, well, this may be the death of Marble Lad. I'm too dumb for this pattern of arm hammers. <sighs> well, Marble, Mad Marble Madness was fun. That's enough of that. That's 15 minutes, that's enough, right? I don't need to try to get further. Boy, I, I would have gotten further if it wasn't the- if it didn't reset the game every time. But I'm cool with that. Uh... No, the main state, the main point of this was just to got like show off the original game before a hamster ball. So uh, I'm gonna go do that. Stick around.